Hello and in this part second of the uh, already created video for the open card multi vendor marketplace uh, PayPal commerce today we will be showing you the workflow at the customers and how the customers can place the orders uh, and uh, the two different modes uh, within the PayPal commerce that can be set up by the marketplace admin that is the instant and the delayed one so I'll be placing two different orders and then I'll be showing you how the instant works and how the delayed works then I'll show you how the vendors would be able to set up the PayPal commerce under their own account panel and uh, we'll also be checking how the admin can make a refund from the backend how he can release the amount uh, that has been paid, uh, paid by the customer using his PayPal account uh, or the marketplace store itself and the rest of the features as well so before proceeding further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so uh, i'm already at the store front and i've added one product that's the big modern necklace into the cart and now i'll be proceeding further to make a checkout right now i'll make the settings as the instant so as soon as the payment is made the amount is dispersed to the uh, respective seller so if you're having four or five products or five different sellers all of them are using the PayPal uh, commerce and uh, you're making the payment uh, then as soon as you're making the payment the amount gets uh, dispersed to their respective PayPal accounts and then they can check the same uh, under their own uh, PayPal accounts as well so right now we'll be checking the uh, uh, system when the admin has set uh, the settings as instant so here under the PayPal settings for the PayPal commerce, uh, you can see that I've chosen the disbursement mode as instant for this particular example. So uh, let's get back to the checkout and uh, we'll be tapping here on the continue button. And then we'll be choosing our uh, payment method. So uh, let's choose it and uh, I'll just tap here on the continue button. And now you can see that under the payment methods, the customer can choose a web calls, marketplace, PayPal, commerce, multi-seller checkout uh, payment method. After checking that up, I'll just tap here in the continue and uh, we'll be taking it to the last step. And from here, the customer can tap on the PayPal uh, button or the debit or credit card. So you can make use of the credits within the PayPal or making use of the debit or the credit card to make the payment within the marketplace store using the PayPal itself. So now we'll be redirected for making the payment. So I as a customer need to enter my uh, details here. So let me go ahead and let me enter that up first. After entering the details, I'll just tap here on the uh, login button. And now we'll have to choose our payment method. But before that, we'll check uh, the amount that needs to be paid at the top right hand corner as well. So here's the amount, $98.99. Uh, and uh, that's equal to $100 there. So I can choose uh, to pay with the balance or on my uh, credit card that I've already saved or I can add a new uh, debit or a credit card as well. So let's go back and I'll just choose uh, to pay with my balance and let's tap here in the pay now. So as soon as I make the payment, I'll just show you uh, the same details in my PayPal account as well, the deduction. The order has been placed. Let's check the history once. Order number 89. That's with the order and check the payment method marketplace uh, PayPal commerce multi seller checkout. That's for $99. Sir. Now, let me uh, log into my uh, PayPal account and let me show you my uh, transaction details. So, you'll have to log into your account, uh, your customer PayPal account, go to activity, tap on the all transactions uh, option there, and uh, the details would be loaded in a while in a second for now. So here you can see the amount that we've just uh, put, uh, paid and the payment, mode is, the payment is completed right now and the amount is 98.99 US dollars. So that was how the customers can place the orders using the uh, plugin. Now uh, let's hop on and let's see uh, how the admin can make a refund for that. So uh, for that, uh, but before that, let me show you uh, the order details at the admin's end and the uh, sellers in as well so here i've logged into my vendor account already and here i'll go to my order history so we need to check the order number 89 and i'll just uh, filter it out using the date we have the order number 89 uh, the status shows complete because we are using the instant method right now 
the same status is visible at the admin's end as well for the same order. So here you can see the transaction ID, the type is instant and the amount is 87.92 because uh, the admin's commission has been deducted from that and the order has now been completely placed using the respective webcruise marketplace paypal commerce multi-seller checkout plugin now hopping uh, hopping on to the admin and let me show you the order details at the admin end for this particular order so we'll navigate through sales and then orders and here we have the order number 89 the status is complete the total is 99 dollars let's with the order and here uh, we'll find that the payment would be complete so if i scroll down here we have the history the uh, paypal transaction id status is complete going to the paypal release and re uh, fu release fund and details you can see that uh, the seller has uh, uh, already received the amount for 87.92 dollars and the type is instant and the action is released right now because this is the instant type of uh, uh, payment right now now uh, the vendor can log into his paypal account as i've just showed you in the case of uh, the uh, customer the vendor can find the 87 dollars uh, uh, amount there in his uh, paypal account now coming to the second section that's the uh, delayed one uh, let me show you how we can do that and lastly i'll just show you in the delay how we can do the refund as well so here I'll go to the PayPal settings in the back end and I'll make this as delayed and then save. Let's hop on to the front end now again. Now uh, what I'll do is I'll just go to the customer account and uh, I'll go to the order history and I'll be placing once again the same order. So uh, I just don't want to waste the time there so I'll just quickly do that. So here uh, I'll just tap on the reorder. So this time it's the delayed uh, one so the admin will have to release the amount into the vendor's account but as soon as the payment is made the uh, the amount is deducted from the paypal account of the customer uh, i'll show you that as well and then we'll see how the customer can make a refund there so i'll just uh, quickly go ahead and uh, place the order as we have already done the shipping is chosen continue uh, marketplace paypal commerce terms and conditions checked continue and then lastly tap on the paypal we are being logged in because we had just logged in uh, a moment earlier we use the same payment method pay now for uh, 99 dollars once again the order has been placed let's check the history at the customer's end this is order number 90 let's tap on the view button here we have our uh, marketplace paypal commerce for 99 dollars product is this the payment status is completed now let's check the order details at the vendors end so let's go to the order history and uh, here let me scroll down let me filter out it according to the date here we have the order number 90 the status right now you can see it's uh, pending it's showing pending right now uh, uh, in the instant it was showing complete but right now it's showing pending let's tap here in the act uh, view button on the actions column and here's the payment method used by the customer here you can see that uh, the seller name is john doe the transaction id is this uh, the type is delayed the amount is 87.92 so type is delayed so the admin will be releasing the amount at a later time but the order status is here as you can see complete because the payment has been made by the customer so if I go to the activity center, I refresh my thing. So you'll have to go to the activity, then all transactions. And here you can see the purchase at 4.42 a.m. It's complete for $98.99. This one is the old one that we did a few moments earlier. And you can see that uh, fee is yet not uh, been de uh, deducted from the same. Now let's hop on to the auto info once again. It's at the vendor's end. It says delayed right now. Now let's check the same order at the admin's end. So uh, let me go to the admin's end. Sales, orders. Here I'll be choosing the order number 90. Here we have. And here it uh, is showing complete right now. Let's tap here in the view button. And here if I scroll it down, you can see the amount is 99. It says the transaction ID is here. The status is complete. And now if I go to the PayPal release fund and details, here you can see the name of the seller. 
is the amount that needs to be released to him the pipe is delayed and now we can release the fund directly to the vendor so just tap here and the release button now uh, as we are already seeing that the uh, uh, that it was showing as pending if you remember so uh, let's go back to the order history and uh, let me filter it out the order number 90 let me scroll down here initially the status was showing pending now you can see that it shows as complete right now okay so i'll just tap here on the view button and uh, then we'll be going to the section so uh, the type was delayed the amount has been received by this uh, vendor so this was how uh, you uh, can make use of the delay payment to make the payment at a later time after the customer has made the payment so now the vendor can check this amount being uh, added to his account already under his paypal account likely as we were checking the uh, customers you can see the same here as well now let's see how we can make a refund uh, so i'll go to the customers end for that so the customer will have to uh, generate the request for the refund and uh, for example let's refund this amount for uh, the delayed one so i'll just tap view and here uh, the customer on the order details page uh, can uh, tap here in the return button on the return page he'll have to choose the details of the uh, refund so the product is big modern necklace and choose it as dead on arrival product is open i'll choose it as no and submit so after submitting the same uh, let's check the order history once again at the customer's end so we'll have to choose, uh, check uh, what exactly gets displayed here so here you can see that now uh, we have the complete status now we have the product name the payment status big modern necklace you requested for return so it's the customer's end now the same if we check on the vendor's end what uh, appears there let's check so we'll have to check it for the order number 90 view and then we'll just scroll down to the order details so here you can see that uh, now under the seller's transaction for the delayed one the amount that uh, seller received it says customer requested for return this time now let me go to the admin backend panel and let's check how the admin can make a refund for the same and how it gets reflected on the customers and on the windows end as well return section and here's the order id 90 with the return id 10 says awaiting products let's edit that after receiving the products back let's make the refund and here we'll go to the history section and uh, i've already basically uh, said that is now complete so you'll choose uh, actually it would have been awaiting products so uh, you need to have it set as the complete and then you will have to tap here in the add history as soon as you are modified, now if I go back to the activity section and uh, if I refresh the page once, we'll now be able to see the refunded uh, refund details uh, being visible here to the customer under his PayPal account. So uh, we'll have it just wait for a moment and the refund would now be able to. So here you can see that uh, now it's showing the refund from completed 98 US dollars as you can see right now now if we go to the order section again if we refresh this and uh, let's see if uh, any changes visible there now all right that's the actually at uh, the windows end we'll just go to the order history and here I'll just go to the order number 90 let's tap here in the view button let's scroll down and now you can see that for the big model necklace the payment status uh, shows amount refunded initially it was showing uh, the refund has been asked now it shows uh, amount refunded so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and uh, now to show you the uh, initial configurations for that let's take uh, you back to the admin back panel uh, and uh, to make the initial configurations after the successful installation just navigate through extensions go to the extensions there you'll have to choose uh, under the more extension type choose it as uh, payments and uh, then navigate to the webcode marketplace paypal commerce multi-seller checkout edit that up 
and that would bring up the section that we were already checking out a while ago the paypal settings where we chose it as the instant and delay so you can check the uh, initial configurations uh, within the uh, user guide of this uh, particular uh, plugin as well so i'll attach that uh, within the description section of this uh, video so kindly go through that and check the live demo as well so as to get a better understanding of uh, how this particular plugin works so here you can basically choose for which uh, store you want to make use uh, with you can set up the PayPal partner image here uh, then uh, coming to the general section you can enable it up uh, you can set up the method that is visible to the customers uh, the uh, total or the checkout total of the order that must be reached before this payment method gets uh, active uh, you can choose the order statuses here uh, number of ones are being uh, displayed here and under the PayPal settings, you'll have to choose uh, to use in the testing or the sandbox or the live or the production mode. So we can get the keys by checking our user guide within which we have given all the steps how to get your keys and the rest of the things. You can then choose the checkout type as the branded payment, smart payment button there. Choose the mode depending as uh, instant or delete as per your requirement. Enter your sandbox or uh, if you've chosen here as uh, production then you'll have to choose the production or you'll have to enter the uh, production paypal partner attribution id the same goes for the rest of the values as well for the test you'll have to send, enter your paypal merchant id the email account the paypal client id and the secret and then you can tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings now uh, let me show you how the marketplace vendors would be able to set up the paypal connect under their own account panel so if it's the first time you are after the installation of this uh, particular plugin, your first time coming to this section and you want to set up your PayPal Connect, then you'll have to navigate to your My Profile section. Under that, you'll have to navigate to the PayPal Connect. Here, you'll have to choose your country uh, where you want to uh, connect to your PayPal account. So for example, if I go ahead and choose uh, uh, Cyprus, you'll see that the page has refreshed now I will go back to the PayPal now we have the option to connect to the PayPal so I'll just tap here in the connect to PayPal a pop-up would uh, come up and it would redirect us uh, to the uh, section wherein we'll have to log in now this icon we have already configured it in the back end if you remember uh, the partner one so you'll have to be a partner with the PayPal uh, business partner there and then you can set this up now from here you'll have to connect a paypal account to start accepting payments uh, all right so uh, here you'll enter your email that is already entered or you can enter your email here then choose your country tap on the next button now let me show you the rest of the uh, uh, rest of these steps there uh, from the user guide uh, that i've attached within the description below for a better understanding so uh, this is the section that we just saw here at the uh, storefront if i tap in the continue button this one is the same one that we just saw this one now after that uh if i come down after entering the password we'll just tap on the next button here we'll have to set up uh, the uh, paypal business account enter the details here tap on the next button select the type of your business that you have then uh, enter the details regarding your business tap again on the next button then you'll have to uh, enter some more details about your business tap on the next and lastly you'll have to confirm your email address to activate your account after you have done activating your account uh, what happens is that uh, you'll be redirected back to your paypal account uh, or the paypal connect section with your paypal merchant id being displayed there that means that uh, you're connected now so then you'll see that the connect to paypal isn't uh, anymore there uh, like uh, here you would see the initial uh, label as to connect to the uh, paypal there but now the connection status would say that it's connected so uh, so uh, that was uh, much about the plugin itself and i hope it helped you uh, in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements uh, and kindly reach back to us through support at the rate of webcool.com, raise it again at webcool.qvdesk.com, uh, contact us through webcool.com forward slash contacts. And please do uh, like this video if you find this helpful. And lastly, 
Uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.